Hey guys, Josh for the Adept Ape channel here, and today we're going to be discussing how to remove, install, and time your 3406 or C15 cam gear. And this is probably one of the harder things to do if you're doing anything with your cylinder head or your gear train on a C15. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. We're going to show you how to remove it, what the torque specs are, uh, the seals you need to worry about, and then how to time it. Now what this video is not going to discuss, which will be in my next video, is how to set your camshaft backlash. Because that is very technical. Um, so let's get into the video. So you're going to need to start at the front of the engine on the timing cover and you're going to need to remove an item called the peanut cover and I'll let you figure out why it's called the peanut cover but it's the peanut shaped item with the cat symbol on it and behind there is your cam gear and your cam idler gear and depending on what year engine you have you're going to have most likely Torx bits holding it on or Torx bolts. Now, these are not actually Torx. If you're using a T40 Torx, that's the wrong tool. It's actually a T40 Plus, which is a little bit bigger than a T40. So once you get it off, you will have your cam gear exposed. And this is what it's going to look like. Now, on the very top of the timing gear cover, there's a little nub. You can see it better here between the two bolt holes. That is your timing mark. And there'll be a mark on the cam gear that you're going to need to line up. So there is the timing mark. And then somewhere on the cam gear, there's going to be a mark under one of the teeth. Now, what you want to do now is pin the engine. And if you've seen my uh, overhead video for C15s, this is what you're going to have to do. There's a plug on the flywheel housing. And you're going to put a bolt in there and rotate the engine around. When it slides in, that means you are pinned. Now, now that we've timed the engine, you can see that the alignment mark on the timing cover matches either a dot or an arrow on one of the cam gear teeth, or at least it should. If the cam was out of time, you might have it off by a tooth, or it might be off slightly already. That's fairly normal. So once you're done, it'll look like this. So you have it timed, and the reason you can tell is you see the white line on the cam gear there. And then it's lined up with the top of the timing cover. Now, there's a bolt hole between two of the cam bolts. That's important. Now, what you're going to need is this is a special cat tool. Even though it looks like an 8-inch long, 3 8 bolt that is double nutted with a hose on it as a handle. Most definitely not what it is. Actually, that's exactly what it is. So what this is going to do is allow you to grab your cam gear while removing and installing it much, much easier than without this tool. So go ahead and make one of these. So once your bolts are out of the cam, which they are a 5 8 12 point headed bolt, you're going to thread your special tool in to that little 3 8 bolt hole on the top. And then we're going to have my assistant here, who is removing his first C15 cam gear, remove the cam gear. Now, it's fairly heavy. It's probably about 30 pounds, and it's kind of usually in a hard-to-get-to location. But once the bolts are out, it should pop right out. Now, once your cam gear is removed, behind where it was, there's going to be a small plate with three small bolts holding on. These are 716's head quarter-inch bolts. You'll need to remove those. And that is a retaining plate that holds a cam spacer on. So... Removed the bolts, removed the retaining plate. Now there's a cam spacer, which is this, with two dowels. Notice how it goes on. That will come in handy when putting it back on. Now, there's only one item left before you're basically done with all your cam gear stuff on the front timing cover. This threaded hole needs to have one of those bolts you just removed that held the retaining plate on installed into it and that'll help push this out this is a seal plate it has two seals and that's what seals the timing cover to the head so here it is removed there's a time or there's a seal on the back and a seal on the side so let's pretend you've removed the head you put it back on and now you need to reassemble so you would put new o-rings on this seal plate obviously remove the push out bolt and then push it in place Okay, so now you'll basically be reassembling it in the opposite order that you disassembled it in. So you're now going to install your cam 
spacer there then you put the retaining plate on and install your three bolts now i usually put blue loctite on the bolt threads and then torque them to 10 foot pounds since they're quarter inch bolts now next thing is put the cam gear back on uh, it can be kind of a pain you got to get the dowel aligned if there's enough room you could put a alignment bolt in there um but there's usually not enough room to really easily do that so when you're all done you're going to install your bolts here and they go in a specific sequence and they torque to 180 foot pounds and the sequence doesn't really matter by number it does matter however by how you do it so you're going to do opposing bolts in a pattern so you'll start typically with the far left bolt then you'll go to the far right bolt then you'll go to one of the bolts that are adjacent to the far left bolt then you'll go to one of the bolts that are adjacent to the far right bolt. You see what I'm doing. You just go back and forth a couple times, 180 foot-pounds. You do not need Loctite or oil on the bolts. They should just be dry and clean. Of course, then you'll put a new seal on your peanut cover, and you are all done, assuming that the cam gear aligns with the timing mark. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. In the next video, I will be discussing how to properly set your backlash for your cam gear. Hope you check it out.